Hey guys, Barrett here, and this is Spec of Tech. Today we have something special to show you. We're talking about a brand new 11 channel amplifier that just hit the market. It's actually so new that this is the first YouTube video about it, but Steve over at Home Theater Gurus also got his hands on one of the review units, so make sure that you check out his channel in the near future as well. The amp that I'm referencing is the Summit Hi-Fi A11 11 channel amplifier. It isn't your ordinary unexciting amplifier. Not only does it have plenty of power, it has a unique nine inch screen that can show you some eye candy VU meters, it's as well as some spectrum analyzer displays. Let me start by saying that this amplifier was sent to me for review, but this is not a sponsored video. Everything that I'm about to say are my own opinions and nothing needed to be approved before I release this video. I wanted to show you guys the packaging of the Summit Hi-Fi A11 amplifier. I've never really seen packaging like this. The only thing close that I saw was the packaging for a Macintosh, I believe it was a 525, but I can't remember the model, but it was kind of like a crate style packaging. And that's basically what this is. Like this is actually plywood. Uh, the metal is aluminum, I believe, but there's just these tabs here that you have to bend up to get the top off. So you either want to use a screwdriver or a plier or both, combination of both. But basically you just want to bend these tabs up and get them straight so that you can lift the, uh, the top off of this package. So let's get these bent up. And you want to straighten them a little bit because they do have a bit of a, a curve to them. And you might struggle to get the top off if you don't kind of flatten them out. All right, so once you have them all open, you can go ahead and try and get this top off. But again, like I said, if they're not perfectly straight, you may want to straighten some of them out. But there we go. And actually this plywood is a lot thicker than I thought. It's incredibly solid. And then if it's very well packaged on the inside, now that I see the inside as well, you got a nice thick uh, piece of styrofoam there. On the top, you have the instruction manual. Uh, there is an A7 and an A11 model. This is the A11. I guess the downside to the plywood is you do get some, some wood crumbs, but at least it's incredibly protected. On the one side, you have your power cable here. Uh, you do get some white gloves if you want to use those to unpackage or to unbox this thing. Now the hard part, getting it out of here. I'm hoping, because it is a quite, quite a heavy amplifier, I'm hoping this pouch is strong enough. <coughs> there we go. And then on the inside you just have more styrofoam. The front, which is the heavy part. You got your nice big screen, some buttons there, which we'll talk about, but that's the unboxing of the amplifier. But really, I just wanted to show you the packaging because like I said, I've never seen packaging like this before, except for a Macintosh. So I wanted to show that, but let's get on with the overview. For those that aren't familiar, Summit Hi-Fi is a Canadian based Hi-Fi retailer that's been around for over eight years. I've been buying a lot of my Hi-Fi equipment from them for several years, even long before I had a YouTube channel. And the reason that I keep going back is because that Amir has some of the best customer service that I've ever experienced period. You can easily verify that by the reviews on his web pages, or you can just talk to some of his customers and they're all going to say the exact same thing. He really does treat his customers like family. Summit Hi-Fi has been bringing us some fantastic Hi-Fi gear at some pretty impressive prices. The reason for that is because Omir wants to bring you guys top tier performance for less plain and simple. And I know that because he shared those goals with me. That being said, this A11 and its seven channel A7 brother is Summit Hi-Fi's first endeavor into their own house brand. And he really did want to make a splash. Not only did he set out to make a top quality amplifier at an affordable price, but he wanted to make it look good as well. And I have to admit, at least in my opinion, he accomplished those goals. It's currently priced at 1975 US dollars or 2450 Canadian dollars for the 11 channel and 1775 US dollars or 2250 Canadian dollars for the seven channel model. For that price, the A11 is a very well built all metal chassis class AB modular designed amplifier, which houses the linear power supply made up of two large toroidal transformers. It's no wonder it weighs in at 84 pounds. This thing is a true beast. It measures in at 17 inches wide, eight inches tall and 17.9 inches deep. Not that it's overly large compared to other amplifiers, but it's not small either. So make sure that you do have room in your rack if you are considering this amplifier. On the back, you'll see that there are three singular modules and four stereo modules. The three singular channels, which most users will use to power their front LCR speakers, put out 200 watts per channel into eight ohms and 225 plus watts into four ohms. And that's with all channels driven. For peak numbers, we're at 350 watts into eight ohms and 400 watts into four ohms. 
The other eight channels are still very capable at 115 watts into 8 ohms or 150 watts into 4 ohms with all channels driven. The peak wattage there is 175 watts into 8 ohms and 250 watts into 4 ohms. If you want more information on the power output, click the link down in the description and head to Summit Hi-Fi's website. There's plenty of information on there. I haven't spent a whole lot of time with the amplifier yet, so it wouldn't really be fair for me to comment too much on the sound, but I can tell you that it is incredibly dynamic. Never once during my brief listening sessions did I ever feel like there was anything lacking. The amplifier sounded incredible. I will be doing a full review and talk more about the sound quality, but all I can say right now is that it does exactly what an amplifier should do, and it sounds great doing it. On top of that, the noise floor is very quiet. It may not be quite to the same level as my Legacy IV3 amplifier, but the A11 is nearly as quiet as that one, and it's far less money. Before we discuss the more than adequately sized 9-inch screen on the front, let's take a look on the back where you'll find an unbalanced RCA input and a balanced XLR input for each of the 11 channels. On the far right side, you'll find a handy trigger input and output for daisy chaining and a switch to select whether or not you want it powered on by the trigger or by the front power button. And lastly, below the triggers you have the master power switch and the three prong power port. Moving to the front panel you of course find that 9 inch screen but you'll also find 8 LED lights, one for the power standby button and three lights for the high power channels and four lights representing the four stereo modules. When powered on the lights are quite dim and will glow blue if there's no issues with the module and it will glow red if there is an issue with the module which is actually going to be quite handy for troubleshooting if you ever do have an issue with one of the modules. On the right hand side of the 9 inch LCD screen you're going to find a plus or minus button for brightening or dimming the screen. If you dim it all the way down it will turn off the front display entirely. Above those two buttons you will find a source button which allows you to change the VU meters and the spectrum analyzers. VU meters do seem to be making a comeback in recent years and it's even more observable with the release of the Eversolo DMP A6 streamer that received rave reviews. I don't know if you're like me but the first thing that caught my eye about the Eversolo streamer and this A11 amplifier was the use of the VU meters on the front. It makes this amp just a little bit more interesting than your average cold aluminum slab front. Not that a minimalist front panel is a bad thing, in some cases it's actually preferred, but I have to admit that I'm really enjoying the VU meters on this amplifier and the addition of a couple spectrum analyzers is more than a welcomed addition also. And for me personally I even do have the VU meters on during movies, I just have it dimmed down as low as it can go, but again for those that want it pitch black feel free to turn off the front display. Although you do have to keep in mind that turning off the front display will not deactivate the channel indicator LEDs, although there was some care taken to make sure that these LEDs are not annoyingly bright. And I feel this statement sums up the amplifier quite nicely. The simple truth is that great care was taken in designing this amplifier, and it really does show. This really isn't your run-of-the-mill amplifier. It offers commendable power and a design that can't be found elsewhere. I, for one, am very happy to see more competition for multi-channel amplifiers, and I'm even happier to see a fresh new look to spice up the market a little bit. I'm looking forward to spending more time with this beauty before completing the full review, and if you want to catch that review consider subscribing tick the bell icon if you do and please take just one short second to hit that like button you guys know that i always appreciate it i've dropped links down in the description if you'd like to check out either the 11 or 7 channel version of this amplifier and remember to enjoy your systems i'll see you on the next one cheers